Here's a little bit of a harder conversion to deal with. Um, it actually has two things you have to convert. So the example says, how far does a car travel in, um, in uh, silly, little editing, in one second when their speed is uh, 75 miles per hour. So there's two things that are going on here. Number one, hours is not the measurement we need, um, seconds is because we're talking about just one second out of an hour. And miles is probably not the measurement we're going to want because it's not going to be a mile distance that you're uh, traveling one second. It's going to be relatively smaller. Um, so the unit of measure usually under miles is either yards or feet. All right, so I'm going to change this into um, feet and seconds. So you start off pretty much the same as the last one. You do a fraction representation of the number you want to change. So this would be 75 miles per one hour. And that's literally what it means to be 70 miles, 75 miles per hour. All right, then we're going to have to start multiplying by our uh, unit converters. So here we're going to multiply by something, and you get to choose. Do we want to get rid of hours first, or do we want to get rid of miles first? Um, and it really doesn't matter in the long run. So let's deal with the easier one, which is hours. So since we want to get rid of hours, we're going to put hours on the top. And what we want to change it to is a unit that we know about hours, smaller unit. In this case, I'll change it to minutes. If you know how to go directly to seconds, that's perfectly fine. So for every single hour, there are 60 minutes. And this is called a unit because one hour is the same thing as 60 minutes, so they basically just become a big fat one, and one times 75 miles per hour leaves it alone, which is exactly what we want. Uh, we don't want minutes because we want to know what happens in one second. So we want to get rid of minutes, make sure it goes opposite side of where the minutes is in the bottom here. We'll put one in the top. Next unit down for time is seconds. And for every minute, there are 60 seconds. So basically, this means that we're going to take 75, divide it by 60, take that answer, divide by 60 again. All right, now we want to convert the, um, we got rid of the hours, the miles. So there's only one fraction you need to know. And we want to get rid of miles, and it's in the top here, so over here it's going to go in the bottom. And we want to change it into, well, at least I do, I want to change it into feet. I know how many feet are in a mile. If you don't know, you can Google it, look it up. But for every one mile, there are 5,280 feet. Another reason to like metric, how many feet are in a mile is ridiculous. How many meters in a kilometer is simple, a thousand. All right, so the calculation, and it doesn't matter what order you do it in um, because it's all multiplication and division, but if you do the two divisions um, in a row, make sure you hit equals in between them. Uh, so let's type this into a calculator. So it becomes 75 divided by 60, get an answer, divide by 60 again, get an answer, and then we're going to turn around and multiply by 5280. So this would be, uh, after all is said and done, the number is going to be 110. Now to figure out what the units are, you have to go through and cancel things out. So this miles here is canceling with that miles over there. As long as one's in the top and the other one's in the bottom, they cancel just like with like algebra skills. Um, this hour here is going to cancel with that hour there. This minute will cancel with this minute. And all that leaves us, nothing else is going to cancel, is feet in the top. So this is 10, 110 feet per what's left in the bottom is seconds. So this would be feet per second, 110 feet per second. So the answer to the question is, after one second of traveling at 75 miles per hour, you travel 110 feet. Now think about this, if you're not that far away from the car in front of you, maybe 20 feet, and he slams on their brakes, it takes you one second to switch from your gassing to your brake, and more than likely you're going to run into them, because it'll take you 110 feet to get the brake applied. 
So that's a good example of uh, a major conversion.